Hey guys, it's Twintuitive717. I just wanted to post a quick video here for three groups and I really hope that the messages resonate. So for group one, I have the masculine and the feminine here in this card. And so what I'm feeling is the energy of both of the twins feeling each other very sexually at this time. And so the masculine really is putting his swords down and really giving in to what it is he feels for the feminine. So for those of you who are in this group, I feel like you're experiencing cycles all the time in your twin flame connection where you come close together and share emotional feelings with each other. And then the idea of actually coming together physically or seeing each other in person is what repels the connection again and in those types of connections it tells me that you know union is on both of their minds and that's seen through the sexuality that they feel with each other because at some point or another one of you makes contact again and this card to me represents the period of separation is a healing period for you to let go of all of the things that stop you from being together. It's almost like, you know, the sword's there in the background because it's just put down in that moment of passion. I feel like you both experience a lot of conflict too when you connect and uh, get together. Maybe that you both have karmic partners involved or soulmates involved in your life that prevents you from being together, but you both obviously need the appropriate amount of time and healing to work through your current relationships. And those are just the kind of lessons that we experience on the twin flame journey but it's a strong message for a lot of you to know that you're supported on the journey now this card says that your life purpose fully supports you so if you resonate with the twin flame journey and it's just a part of who you are and the experiences that you've been having and has really helped turn things around for you where you're gaining a lot of perspective into many spiritual areas of your life. I think it's a big sign that a lot of what's happening to you is guiding you in many areas of your life. It's the repetitive thoughts that you're having. Archangel Uriel reminds us to pay attention to thoughts, ideas that come to us as their answered prayers. So what are you hoping for in your twin flame connection? What are the repetitive ideas around this person that uh, end up happening? Because many of us can wonder sometimes what the point of the twin flame journey is, especially during times of separation or when they repel us or we repel them. And it's usually the ideas and thoughts that you receive during those moments of healing or missing them or yearning for them or, you know, even feeling a lot of hate and resentment towards them, our souls end up bringing up these intense feelings because they're trying to purge it from our energy so that we can make room for our gifts. The reason we end up purging it is because we go back to the space of being in unconditional love with them or realize that we're just drawn to them, their soul is beautiful, their energy is beautiful. And so no matter how how much conflict, I guess, can occur between you two, it's usually for a purpose and you can feel it because you end up forgiving each other and coming together again. Whether it's connecting through a dream or a song, um, simply just feeling sexual again towards each other's energy is what uh, happens so pay attention to the goals and dreams that you have in mind for yourself and then you know put some attention and focus into that because i feel that focusing upon those things will end up bringing a light energy uh, to your aura and it's that type of energy that ends up drawing in your connection again because many of us still have a lot of healing and a lot of lessons to master and ma manifest certain things into our life because of our connection to our twin flame 
So just keep that in mind when you're pulling your hair out sometimes wondering why this is happening to you. Uh, it's happening for your soul so that you can really grow and master a lot of experiences in life. So if any of you are feeling negative about your twin flame connection in this moment, uh, you are supported. So just reach out for assistance and help um, to your own higher self for the answers. Because when you reach out for your higher self and your guides and your angels that are around you, they will show you the answers through me, your own means. They will show you through your own signs, your own dreams, uh, the, your own personal synchronicities that will occur that will really tap on your, your heart center. And you'll know, you'll know the truth. Um, so for the second group I have here, I was sensing masculine energy with this card. So I'm just going to read it from the Divine Masculine's perspective. Um, so the first card I have here is the Devil. And for this card, I feel like it, it resonates for many masculines who, um, I guess, are in the limelight or they're very popular or very social. Um, you know, if you'll notice the temptations here in the back, I feel like many of these masculines are starting to realize that, you know, their heart's desires are with their counterparts. And the reason their heart's desires are with their divine feminines is because it's the, it's the divine feminine that brings attention to the devil energy in his life. And I feel like for many masculines, they're just not in a good space anymore when it comes to giving off sexual energy to various partners. They're starting to understand that it's because of those experiences with sex. Um, it makes them feel tired and it takes away from the energy that they have in order to fulfill a lot of their goals and dreams. Um, it says the angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. So for many of them, I feel like they're starting to go back to what makes them happy and what makes them feel genuine and authentic. And they're starting to focus more on their career and leave this kind of energy behind because I feel like for some of them, they would do very well in their career or they would have um, a very good week and then in order to celebrate that they would end up go going to um you know means of entertaining themselves whether it was through uh, sex alcohol drugs um as, as a way of of feeling good about their accomplishments but the end result was that they couldn't get out of bed the next day, they were sleeping in, they were missing deadlines, they were going back into a pattern of now they're having a bad week. There, there's good week, there's a bad week, there's a good week, there's a bad week. So they're starting to pay attention to those signs and they're starting to cut certain behaviors out because that's what's making them understand and realize where their productivity is soaring and then in those moments is where they're really focused on their career transition from the, I guess you would say sort of nine to five routine job and they're starting to sink in more to feeling complete and what makes them happy. So many of your masculines are changing their careers and they're taking a more creative approach to what makes them feel happy. And I think for many of them for a long time, they have shied away from doing certain things creatively because the environment, the conditioning around them made them think that those jobs or those career paths were more of a feminine um, choice. But many of them are starting to wake up and understand and realize that, you know, there's really no such thing. <laughs> in uh, assuming gender about a specific thing. We're all one, and that's what he's experiencing by coming together with the feminine energy constantly. He understands that it's her energy that's driving him to understand and realize a lot of these things. Because I feel that witnessing her and her feminine energy is quite beautiful, and because of the things that she's currently manifesting into her life, naturally the twins will mirror that with each other and they'll want to 
you know, sort of follow each other around like fireflies or butterflies that play around with each other's energy. You know, if you notice butterflies, sometimes when they fly in pairs, they just kind of mingle around each other. And with twin flames, it's the same. So they can't help but learn and be inspired by each other. So the last bit of cards here that I have for group three, um, if you'll notice here, I've got the masculine and feminine. Very, very passionate here, but because it's behind trees, I feel like there might still be some resistance to them wanting to connect in this way. Um, they're both sort of passionately involved because she's got her arms and legs wrapped around him. So you can tell that she's wanting that embrace. Um, I'm feeling like the, the connection between them is becoming known and the masculine is not really caring so much about being caught with his pants down in regards to his feminine because the sexual energy between them obviously plays a big role because it kind of shuts them both down from other partners or other connections at times because there's a lot of channeling and a lot of downloads that are coming in for the both of them in regards to their connection and sometimes they need periods of celibacy um, in order to understand why they're so sexually attracted to each other and it always brings them back to this space of you know, even though there may be aspects of their connection that is secretive or it may be hidden from the world, it can't be denied. I mean, they'll meet in secret. <laughs> they'll meet in the bushes. And that can be translated to they'll make contact again somehow through a message, an email, a text. You'll know when your twin is trying to reach out to you, you know, even more subtly in your dreams but when you wake up from those dreams, it's not so subtle. It's very intense and you start, you know, I guess understanding why it's more of a spiritual connection, right? It's not something that you can control. I wish I could control my dreams, but I can't. And <laughs> they're one of the main aspects of my twin flame journey that keep me connected very deeply to my twin. And I always have cognizant, cognizance dissonance or yeah I believe it's that cognizance dissonance um when I experience dreams with my twin flame so it's almost like I can understand why he's being distant because he'll show me in a dream or when he's needing time away and not wanting me to make contact he'll show me in a dream and I can have dreams about him that will end up happening in the future so I will actually dream of him doing or saying something and then it comes to pass in reality. So I've sort of accepted now the connection for what it is and because I've stayed in a state of acceptance, I experience those types of phenomenons a little bit more. And so Archangel Raguel says, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So... I feel like whatever conflicts you are both experiencing in terms of just wanting to be together, whether it's through needing some space from the people in your lives that you feel are standing in the way of your connection, both of you will start becoming more honest with those people because you'll feel cornered and you will just start being honest with people about your twin flame connection because you want the time and space to speak to them without anyone looking over your shoulder. And so reach out to Archangel Raguel in those moments. If you feel like there are blocks to communicating with your twin, then don't push them in the 3D. Ask your angels for assistance. Um, you know, that's perfect for the protection card here when I say ask your angels for assistance because it says here that you are safe and supported, which while you change oh it says while you change your career also which kind of um you know was in the this card as well with the career transition with the devil energy um and i guess like i was mentioning with the relationship aspect you know resolving arguments and 
I feel like whatever decisions that the twins are making in order to come together, they're paying attention to every aspect of their lives. And they're starting to realize that their connection is protected. So they're starting to step out more and create abundance for themselves because it's almost like they're preparing because of the fact that they know that they're protected. And for many of us, our careers, you know, can be translated to our life purpose. All of us are longing to be of service to others. And I feel like when we get to that space, that's when we start getting all of that support from the angelic realms. You know, when you shift your perspective away from needing money to do something or needing that financial aspect or, you know, being in that state of need, then you're almost shifting away from the abundance that you are promised. You just have to align your thinking with being of service. And when we act in service, we provide our gifts and we share our abilities with others in a way that's very giving, then we receive that same abundance back into our lives. And the Twin Flame journey is demonstrating this to us every day. I know many of you have been drawn to the journey and it's been a constant up and down roller coaster ride or, you know, crashing heavy waves of emotions that you've been through, but it has allowed a spotlight to be shined upon your life in many, many different areas. And it's helping you grow. It's helping you shift out of current programming and ideals and beliefs and conditions and allowing you to explore your own spirituality in a way that you're making things manifest and happen in your life now rather than feeling the need to chase it. It's like you're sitting down and allowing things to come to you. And I feel like that's a great energy for many of us to be in at this time. I hope this reading finds you all well. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.